Today we will demonstrate the use of a urinalysis dipstick, performing a urinalysis dipstick using the Multistix 10SG. When a urine dipstick is requested from the provider, receive the urine specimen along with the patient labels. Assure that you label the patient Put the patient label on your urinalysis patient log. Complete your urinalysis log. Include your test date. Complete the urinalysis log with the month, the year, your reagent strip name, which is multi-sticks, your expiration date, and the lot number. Always wear personal protective equipment, such as gloves and laboratory coat. Assemble equipment. Today we will need multi-stick your analysis strips, patient specimen, timer, and paper towels. Obtain a fresh urine specimen. Specimens should be at room temperature for less than two hours before testing. Collect the urine in a clean, dry, covered container. The urine specimen should be well mixed and uncentrifuged. To avoid contamination of the specimen, any cultures ordered on the same specimen should be set up before performing your analysis. Store multi-stick urinalysis strip at room temperature in the original bottle only. Do not remove desiccants from the bottle. Now the desiccant, what is that? The desiccant is the drying agent okay. inside the bottle. Do not use reagent strips beyond the expiration date. Assure the open date, receive date, and QC date are indicated on the reagent bottle when first opened. Do not remove the strip from the bottle until immediately before use. Replace cap immediately and tightly after removing the strip. Avoid touching the test areas with the reagent strip. The test areas, what do you mean? On the reagent strip, oh, on the, the dipstick. Oh, okay. Set timer. Today's test is a two minute test. Mix urine sample by swirling the urine cup. Open urine sample. Now is this a two person test? Because I noticed you were working with the timer. Uh, yes, because I'm recording as uh, the tests are being performed okay. in red. Open reagent strip. Close bottle tightly immediately after removing strip. Dip strip into patient's best specimen wetting all pads. Immediately set timer, start timer, and blot the test pad, edge of the strip to the paper towel to remove excess urine. Do not lay the pads on the paper towel or cover the pads with the paper towel. After 30 seconds... So she has to hold it? Yes. Okay. After 30 seconds, start reading the results. I will record the results as they are read. At 30 seconds, we will read our glucose. Just to call them out to me. Negative. Bilirubin, negative. negative. At 40 seconds, we will read our ketone. Negative. 45, specific gravity. Go down, down, down. Until 1.5, 45 seconds. At one minute, we will read 
our blood, now, negative, pH, 5.0, protein, negative, urobilinogen, negative, I mean, 0 0.2, nitrite, negative, and at two minutes, we will read our leukocyte esterase. Do not read your leukocyte esterase prior to the two-minute test. Assure that you record all of your results on your urinalysis patient log, including the urine sample color and clarity, and initial your log. So either you're recording this on her behalf, or we're recording it with a voice recorder, and then we replay it after the fact. Our leukocyte esterase is moderate. Let's read our urinalysis color. Discard our dipstick. Shut off the timer. And let's record our urine color and clarity. To swirl the urine, the urine color is yellow. If we can see through the urine and read through the urine, then it's clear. We're sure that you record all results on your urinalysis patient log and count the urinalysis on your tally. Using the date, just add a crosshatch of one. At the end of the month, total up your results on your tally. At the end of the quarter, total everything and submit that to the laboratory supervisor. Include all your results that you have recorded on your urinalysis patient log in the, in the next gen. After completing the test, remove your gloves. Discard the urine sample and wash your hands.